Hey YouTube, what is up? It's JR Flores. I'm here with the HTC Evo 4G on Freedom Pop, and I'm going to give you the quick tips and tricks on how you can maximize your Evo on Freedom Pop. So if you don't know what Freedom Pop is already, it's a free wireless carrier that wants to provide you 200 minutes of talk, 500 text messages, and 500 megabytes of data all for free. There's no catches whatsoever. You can find more about Freedom Pop in my previous video about Freedom Pop on the HTC Evo 4G. Now let's get started on how to maximize your Evo. The first and foremost thing that I think is essential on having in order to make your Freedom Pop work is a Freedom Pop messaging app. This app, what it does is it provides you calling, texting over your Freedom Phone because it's not a traditional cellular carrier as others. It places calls over the internet which are called voice over IP uh, which stands for uh, VOIP, VoIP. And it allows you to place a call over the internet, over uh, different types of networks such as the 3G network, the 4G WiMAX network, or Wi-Fi, which is great because in some cases your call quality may sound better than it would be over the 3G network. And the Freedom Pop messaging app is free on the Google Play Store. The second app I would recommend is the Freedom Pop uh, account, which is totally free. Uh, what it does, it's an app that shows you your usage on how much data, how much text messaging and voice that you have used so you know where your limit is so you don't go over your uh, allowance that Freedom Pop gives you. The third app I would say is a Freedom Pop voicemail app. This app isn't free. Well, it's a free app, but the service isn't. It costs around $2.49 a month. It provides you your voicemail because it... Order for this voicemail to work, it uses, I guess, the internet in order to place the voicemails to allow you to bring your voicemail onto your device. I think it's a great charge for only $2.49 because it's more economical. That's all I'm basically paying is my phone bill is the voicemail. Everything else is completely free. And just to let you guys know about this one, this is my major gripe about having Freedom Pop. It's not the service itself. It's how the phones utilize the uh, Freedom Pop software, such as the messaging app. The Freedom Pop messaging app is a, a, a battery hogger. What I mean by that is it uses up a lot of your battery. I can't express that enough. It They have optimized the app to use less uh, battery, which I noticed that over the next coming uh, weeks, it has been doing a lot better than it did before, but there's a uh, certain apps that I would recommend or certain things to do to help you prevent your battery from dying so fast. My basic overall battery, I would say usage uh, throughout the day, I would uh, get up in the morning at 7 and by already or uh, probably let's say around noon my battery was already at 22 percent and I needed to charge it and as before if I didn't have that freedom pop messaging app it will last throughout the whole day no problems so what I recommend is doing these two things down below I have uh, in the description a link on how to maximize your battery life and the second thing I would do is to get an extended battery such I have on my HTC Evo 4G this case uh, uh, you can't see the extended battery, but it's a 3500 milliamp hour battery, and it lets your Evo last so much longer. And the reason why it uses a lot of power right now on the Evo or is around other devices, such as the Samsung Galaxy S2 that they have as well, is that the Freedom Pop is always a uh, messaging app, is always trying to ping the network in order so you can get live calls. There are certain settings that you can do on there, which I will leave in the description below on how to maximize your Evo's battery life. And that's basically it on the battery life issue. And this other thing that I would highly recommend on getting your Evo is such as rooting it. In my personal experience, I could get better battery life and other functionalities as I wouldn't before, such as removing a lot of bloatware that I wouldn't use on Freedom Pop, such as the Sprint apps that come preloaded, such as NASCAR, your Sprint Visual voicemail, which you wouldn't be using because you would be using uh, no voicemail or that Freedom Pop voicemail provided and it frees up a lot of your space that you have on your Evo. 
Another thing I would do is removing all the Sprint bloatware apps such as Sprint TV, Sprint Hub, Sprint My Account because you don't want to be using those on the Freedom Pop uh, device. So I removed those features and I uh, got a lot of megabytes uh, worth back such as around 200 megabytes I gained by removing all these other things so I could have more apps in my Evo and I wouldn't be getting a low message uh, system on my Android device. And what I think about the qual quality, just let me emphasize this real quick, is the qual quality on the Freedom Pop phone is okay in some days and some days it isn't. And it depends on what type of network you're using. Such as if you're on the 3G uh, network provided by Sprint, it's going to be okay. It depends on your area, I, I could say. Because in my area, I haven't had the new network vision rolled out throughout my valley. So I'm still getting speeds around 70 megabits down and 0.5 up, which isn't the great, but the new network vision I tested in LA, which is just a few miles down from where I live, is that the Freedom Pop network vision or through a whole sprint is so much better. I'm getting 2.5 megabits down, 0 0.1, 0 0.5 up, and it's a lot better than it would be on such a, in a non-network vision. You could find out if you're in a network vision area by looking at sprint.com slash coverage post that link down in the description below as well and you could see uh, the variation of results where you get by using an app called speedtest.net and what I have found because I do have 4G WiMAX throughout my whole area besides in my home area I could get great call quality over the 4G WiMAX network because I get 5, 7 down and I get 2 to 5 up which is perfectly great because that's faster than my home broadband network and using the 4G network I'm able to get a better sound quality than I would be over the 4G but the best thing I like about having this Freedom Pop device is the call quality over the uh, I would say Wi-Fi network. Wherever there is Wi-Fi, I would recommend hop on it as soon as possible by using this Freedom Pop messaging app because it would save the qual. Uh, it was your battery over using the 3G networks or 4G network, and it's leaving it on Wi-Fi idle. What I would do is turn off or turn on airplane mode because you're not going to be using those networks on that if you're on Wi-Fi, and it saves you a ton of battery and you have Wi-Fi connected all the time, so it does save you battery life. And the call quality is so much better. So I'm going to give you a quick sample of what it sounds like on the 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi and wi network. Hope you can understand this. This is a call quality on the 3G network. So let me let me place a call. Due to heavy call volume, all the phone system is still in the system of the customer. Your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. Please consider the line. Thank you. You see what I sort of mean? How it sounds sort of different, but it's understandable. So that's a call quality on the 3G network. I just want to recap the whole over overall video hope you guys liked it uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked it. if you didn't like it dislike it comment below on what you thought of the video if you have any questions or anything about freedom pop I'm here to help uh, you could uh, PM me you could Facebook me my Facebook is deserts tech you could contact me on there by just looking up deserts tech and you could also find me on Twitter at deserts tech you can find me on Instagram at jr the triplet j a y a r I'll put the link down below, and that's it. I hope you guys liked it about the overall Freedom Pop video. If you think Freedom Pop is right for you, you can look them up at freedompop.com forward slash BYOD to bring your own device. They're currently allowing different phones now because of uh, incompatibility issues that's due with the hardware right now, but they do allow the HTC Evo 4G and the Samsung Galaxy S2 right now for sure that I understand that those two devices are perfectly working right now. I prefer getting the Galaxy S2 because it's one of the most better devices and through all of them I just had the Evo because that's what I had before and when I was coming off Sprint so I'm going to let you guys know more about it in my next up upcoming video about the Evo review of the overall Freedom Pop service.